Hey guys, Michael here. Today I'm with a browser for the Nokia N810, and ultimately this is going to become, or at least the people at Mozilla think it's going to become a popular mobile browser, similar to how popular Firefox has become on the Mac or PC side of browsing. Now Fennec right now is in a pretty early uh, alpha, I guess you could say. It's a lot of things that are just kind of annoying about it, that just because it's in alpha or beta, it, it's just some problems you're going to have to get used to. But this video is just to give you a brief uh, overview of what it's going to be when it's finally released. Right As of now, I would not recommend this as your primary browser, but there's some cool things about it that make Fennec interesting. So, if you drag to the right, and it's not as simple as just dragging, even though it just looked pretty seamless. You have to make sure you get it right, uh, particularly when you're on actual web pages. So, you have your bar at the top, your URL bar, where you can uh, put in your, obviously, the address of the web page you want, and then you can press the go button right in the corner. Then you have your back and forward keys, as well as your favorite key, so you can favorite it, and then it'll be illuminated then if you click it again it'll become unilluminated therefore not favorited anymore then over here you have your sort of options now what it's pulling up right now is your add-ons because this just like Firefox supports add-ons right now it only supports a few that it has uh, no script and URL fixer for instance but hopefully by the time this becomes an actual public release it'll have a larger library of add-ons and extensions and themes for that matter that'll make your browsing experience really wonderful just like the unique aspects of Firefox that make it so attractive to have all those add-ons right now I haven't really played with any of the uh, add-ons because they just haven't been too appealing to me but uh, you have extensions as well as uh, themes and plugins Hopefully, uh, they'll be having several plugins available when this becomes available because there are some functionality that of the browser that I don't like right now. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there are some plugins for the Shockwave Flash as well as uh, Real Player Windows Media. I don't have those enabled right now, but uh, if you want to enable them, you can. Here you just have something for clearing, and here you just have some info about content, about loading images, enable JavaScript, enable plugins, save cookies, save passwords, or clear the data. And here you can go back. And I'll show you, uh, this is a full tab browsing interface, so if you drag to the left you'll see your, your tabs that are open, I currently have three, and if you want to create a new one you just press that button right there. If you want to close a tab, you just tap the X. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, I'm not sure why that's not working, but let's let's try to open up another tab. Here's a tab for my YouTube page at youtube.com slash the revived one. As you can see, everything loads, but it doesn't have that flash content. But I believe if you enable that plugin, you'll be able to view flash content, which is a good thing. Uh, and I think that's definitely a good thing because let's say you didn't want to, you didn't necessarily, maybe you don't have a data plan that's unlimited or depending on your device, it's just not capable of it. You can just deactivate those plugins, those flash plugins, so you don't have to be bogged down by that. But if you do have a f more powerful device, you have the option to go ahead and enable those plugins. So that's like, uh, that's a really good feature that is just really nice to have just the extendability so it looked like that one tab that we were just in did get closed so it is some issues there so let's just show you another page switch to, switch to another one so again it's my blog everything loads except for that uh, flash content because it wants me to enable the plugin now upon reloading the, or rather re-enabling both those plugins and then reloading this page, the browser crashed, so I just reopened it for you. Now as you can see with those two plugins enabled, particularly the Shockwave plugin, it'll recognize that there is some sort of flash content here, but it won't actually allow me to watch it or play it or interact with it. 
So that's kind of an issue with this plugin that I wish worked. Another thing I noticed with the plugins, now the browser did crash, so hopefully when it gets closer to final release it won't crash as often, but it allowed me to enable and disable the plugins without having to restart the browser unlike the desktop version of Firefox, which is actually a really cool feature to be able to on the fly enable a plugin if you want it, disable it if you don't, just really cool stuff. So that's just a quick look at Fennec, the new mobile browser that is not currently available or maybe won't even wanted for the public because there are some issues with it. But down the road, Mozilla will be releasing this as a full-on mobile browser. And my initial impressions are this is a really interesting browser, has a lot of cool features. Hopefully the plugins, the plugin architecture and the add-on architecture will work and you'll be able to initiate and enable and disable things hot on the fly without having to restart the browser and hopefully browser stability will increase as well so you can really use this as your full-time mobile device for exclusive content follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash blue 42 richman and if you haven't already please subscribe to my videos at youtube.com slash the revived one take care guys